G'day, how's it going? So just another bloody day really. Yeah, we're just sitting in the line. It's been bloody wet for about a week. Just every night it's been raining and during the day it's been lovely, but it's not much good for the old coons, so hasn't been much point sitting in the line. But um, the forecast looks good for tonight. So we're gonna rip into it. Also the freezer is looking slightly empty at the moment yeah there's there's almost more possum skins in the freezer at the moment than there is meat so thought we'd better bloody go and kill something and put it in there um, so yeah we'll be looking to looking to do a bit of hunting over the next couple of days um, in between a bit of work um, yeah, either a pig or a deer, not too fussy. Um, probably, I'd say it's going to be a deer. Just because I haven't been seeing bugger or pigs. Um, but I've been seeing a heap of deer. Anyway, we'll crack into it and see what happens. Sweet. Man, it's warming up to be a nice day out. Bloody blue sky. That's bloody scorching. Dogs are looking pretty worn out already. But yeah, I've seen something I wasn't expecting to see today. There's a bit of fresh pig rooting, which is bloody surprising. Right there. Righto, so I'm just going to have a wee break for a bit and let the dogs have a rest because they're looking a bit buggered um, and then yeah, we'll carry on once things cool down a bit um, yeah, I might just pick a few berries and have a bit of a feed and pick a bit of tea Mm, not too bad. Righto, so this is the tea we're picking. And we're going to make some bitty bid tea. So that's what this plant is. It's the bitty bid. And most of you probably know what that is. You probably know it because of the seeds that get bloody stuck to you. I'll find some, there's some there. These little balls. They got a bloody good way of spreading their seeds. They stick to your clothes like that and you pull them off and they bloody break apart and stick to you. But yeah, we don't use that, we're just going to use the leaves here. Make a, make a tea out of that. And I think we'll mix it up. We'll mix it with a bit of manuka. Break a bit of that off here.
Won't need too much. That'll probably do us for tonight. Nice relaxing tea at the end of the day. Go <laughs> oh, out, well, these two look ready to go. Again, so here we are. We're done for the day. Knock off time. Well, oh, half an hour ago it was. Um, and yeah, this is our camp. We're in under the fly. Nice little spot, and we got a pretty good chance of seeing a deer out there. Oh well, I've pretty much given up hope for the old venison today. Got the fire cranking. Cup of tea time, I think. We've got our tea leaves we prepared earlier. Just whack it in the water there. Pretty good. Yeah, so that's how we hand pick tea for the day. Not bad. It smells quite good actually. It smells like green tea. Not too bad. Bloody good actually. Anyway, yeah, that's about this day over. I'll just cook up some sausages and bloody go to sleep, I think. And yeah. Get up bright and early tomorrow. Well before well before the sun comes up I think and yeah we'll make something happen. We'll try and get a deer. Sweet ass. See you then. So we're coming into Wharton, which is the possum mating season usually from like March until May so they get a bit more vocal and this fella's just going off up there Alrighty, so we might be in here. I've just spotted a couple of deer down on a wee scrubby clearing and the wind's mint so I think we'll put a stalk on them and see how we go. Stay. Stay Kiwi. Stay Tower. Ah, stay.
Oh, bloody mint, we got one. That's what we're after. I thought we might have ended up with more than we bargained for for a minute there, because that's a long story, but <laughs> so yeah, pretty slow day really, and then I spotted some deer down on a clearing. Um, so I made the dogs stay at the pack because I thought, oh, they're pretty easy to get. I didn't want the dogs running around um, and bloody scaring the deer off. So I told, I put my pack down and told them to stay. And they stayed. They're pretty good at that. Um, and yeah, so I did that. Sweet as. Stalked my way down. and Bloody, there's quite a few deer down here. It took me quite a while to get a shot at one that was nice and clean. Um, because they're in real thick shit down in here. <clears throat> Just bloody scrub and a bit of gorse even. And yeah, just, I've been down here for like an hour or an hour and a half or something. Yeah, before I shot that spiker there and shot him. And then bloody, as soon as I got down to where he was and found him dead here, I could hear bloody pigs grunting. Just Funny shit, maybe 40 metres away, there was pigs grunting in the scrub there, and I thought, oh shit, this is where the pigs are hanging out too. <laughs> but yeah, I'd bloody told the dogs to stay up there, and Kiwi hasn't caught a pig for a while, so I thought I'd put her on them, I'll see if I can call them down. She, they came down, Kiwi come down, but she was in such a bloody, so bloody confused because of the shot. Obviously it got her excited probably and then I'd called her down and she come running in and she was sniffing the deer and I was trying to get her onto these pigs. She took off after them but bloody got a bit confused and yeah, started trail barking, what she does if she's confused or if she can't catch a pig. Um, and yeah, that, that was that. <laughs> yeah, a bit of bloody excitement anyway, and now we got what we come for anyway. We've got enough meat, all the meat we can carry, so that's all we really want. Um, I wasn't going to kill any of those pigs anyway, so not too worried about it. Um, Kiwi just missed out on a bit of fun, but <laughs> that's, that's all right. Okay. Gotta love the old liver. <laughs> Meaty handbag. That's quite comfortable actually. We're not far from the pack and then um So yeah, thanks heaps for watching and hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Cheers.